Okay, okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. That were videos from our past um, science fairs, and this is our sixth annual, and we're held. Uh, we're holding it for. Um, in two years, this will be our physical one. We can't wait for tomorrow. We're really eager to have it tomorrow. So my name is Musim Bayonis. I'm the operations manager and trainer at Little Einstein. And I'm passionate about kids. Um, teaching them makes me learn so much from them. Um, welcome to today's um, webinar titled The Kenya We Want. Yeah, and we want to hear from our children. So Little Einstein's is um, a STEM company, um, Edutainment. We teach kids ages 3 to 12, um, rotating around the STEAM um, program, that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math in a fun way. So all we do, we don't like write on books. All our experiments are hands-on, and it's really fun for, for the kids. We believe that if they start at a, at a younger age, it um, helps them go um, is a move on to their next um, next chapter. So I want to welcome you to today's webinar and um, I want to hear from voices from our children. The title is The Kenya We Want. And um, before we start, uh, you can just go um, on the chat, uh, on the chat, um, on the chat bar. And I want us to answer two questions two questions. This is just like a game. And um, the rules of the game is be keen and um, learn something from it. So be keen and learn something from it. So my two questions are, you can go in the chat bar, just write number one and answer, number two, answer. So my first question will be, we have three colors in the Kenyan flag. We have three colors in the Kenyan flag. Namely, just go in the chat bar, give me your answer. That's my question number one. We have three colors in the Kenyan flag. Namely, just name the three colors of the Kenyan uh, flag. Remember the rules of the game, be keen and learn something. Question number one, we have three colors of the rainbow. Namely, not rainbow, the Kenyan flag, sorry. I don't know where the rainbow came off three colors, <laughs> be keen and learn something. Three colors of the Kenyan flag, namely, <laughs> thank you, Terence, I've seen your answer. Uh -huh. Question number one, we have three colors of the Kenyan flag, namely, hey, okay, okay. Three colors of the Kenyan flag, namely, Okay, I see your answers. Rules of the game, be keen and get to learn something. Uh huh. I can see your answers. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Terence. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three colors of the Kenyan flag. Okay, thank you, Talisa. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can see your answers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Wenja. Okay. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. If you haven't given your answer, we have three colors of the Kenyan flag, namely. Okay. Okay, thank you to everyone who participated. I can see Terence told us that we have four, <laughs> not three. Okay, there we were keen. I can see Ryan told us we have four and he named them black, white, red, and green. Talisa the same, she named them red, black, green, and white. Uh huh. Ryan told us we actually have four colors, namely black, white, red, and green. And then we have another answer. We have four, namely red, black, and green. And then Manja told us we have black, white, and green. Okay, on to my second question. On to my second question. What is the capital city of Nairobi? What is the capital city of Nairobi? Give me your answers. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's the capital city of Nairobi? <laughs> let's go, let's go. 
Remember the rules of the game. Rules of the game. The key and get to learn something. What is the capital city of Nairobi? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Talisa. <laughs> I see your answer. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Talisa. I see your answer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Talisa. Okay, okay, okay. Good. As we get the answers, uh-huh. We have uh Talisa. We all got. I think we all got the rules of the game. We were so keen, and I hope we got to learn something. So the first question was twisted. We actually have four colors of the Kenyan flag, and we named them. And then the second question, Nairobi doesn't have a capital city. It's actually Kenya, which is Nairobi. And thank you so much. We all got the concept, OK? So on to our topic, um, this year's um, theme being um, STEM civics, we were looking at how STEM can lead to a better nation. It challenged um, explorers to examine their role as citizens and um, all the citizens of their country and further how they can um, create solutions in, in STEM and um, through a, to get a better nation. Okay, so with me, I have I have, so when I call your name, you'll just give us a wave, a small wave. So with me, I have um, four innovators. I have Nasambu, you can give us a wave. I have um, Talisa, give us a wave. I have Ryan, and I have Terrence, okay? So I have four innovators with me. Peter was to join us, but he hasn't. I think um, he'll be join, joining us later. So I'll just give you um, one minute to introduce yourself. Maybe tell us your name, the school you go to, and maybe your age. So three, name, school, and age. So I'll start with Nasambu. My name is Nasambu. I'm 11 years old, and I go to Nova Pioneer Tatu Primary. Thank you, Nasambu. Uh -huh. On to Talisa. My name is Talisa Tasha. I'm 10 years old and I go to Kyoto School, Karen Campus. Thank you so much, Talisa. Ryan. Uh, my name is Ryan Mugambi. I'm 14 years old and I go to Strathmore School. Thank you so much, Ryan. On to you, Terence. My name is Terence Niha. I go to Strathmore School and I'm 13 years old. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, innovators. So in today's topic, we're going to have a few discussions with my innovators, and um, we'll get to hear from them. Um, and without any fuse and delay, let's start, let's get started. And um, we have a few questions that we we'll get to get answers from our innovators and just see get to hear from our kids the Kenya they want. Our topic, our theme being the Kenya we want, we want to hear from their voices what they would really want for a better Kenya. And um, my first question, I would um, give it to, uh, maybe I'll start with Ryan. I would like to know um, what qualities you think will make a good leader. Ryan, what qualities do you think can make a good leader? Maybe I'll start with my answer. I think um, one quality that can make a good leader is the ability to understand and share feelings of another. They need to understand the feelings and experiences of the citizens. Remember, citizens uh, being a citizen being a person or um, a person who legally um, belongs to a country. So these leaders need to understand their needs and just um, needs and feelings and experiences of their whole um, citizen so as to fulfill their needs. Yeah? So maybe we can get to hear from Ryan. What do you think are qualities that can make a good leader? One, uh, one, one quality of a good leader is that 
he or she needs to make the people feel proud of being a citizen of that country mm. by encouraging them to do their work well and to work hard for the better of that uh, country. Yeah, the leader needs to listen just the same uh, way I've said it, like listen to the people just to understand their needs for a better environment. Right, Ryan? Yes. Yeah, that's the first quality. Do you think there's another quality? Uh, leaders uh, need uh, to be God-fearing. God-fearing. Ah, that's yes. another quality of a good leader. Yeah, they need to be God-fearing so that they can fulfill their needs. Oh, thank you yes. so much, Ryan. Thank You're you welcome. so much, Ryan. Now, um, Nasambu, maybe the same question can apply to you. What qualities do you think can make a good leader? One of the qualities of a good leader is integrity. Mm. Integrity means the right. Sorry, Nisambu, you're speaking on mute. Just come up again. Yeah. One of the qualities of a good leader is integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing even though no one is watching. Quote, yes, Lewis. Okay. Now someone tells us that one quality that she, she thinks that uh, will make a good leader is integrity. And um, I think that, um, that's, that's something uh, they need to look into. They need to do good things without the citizen, citizens looking. Like, they need to do it without us knowing that they're doing it. Right, Nasambu? That's what you meant? Yeah. Thank you so much, Nasambu. Uh -huh. On to you, Talisa. Same question. What do you think can make a quality of a good leader? A good leader should be honest by delivering promises that he or she has made. Thank you. Thank you, Talisa. That's another point we should look into. Like, if you want a better Kenya, we need to get leaders. We need leaders that have all these qualities. Honesty being number one. They need to be very honest because when we are choosing them, we want leaders who are honest so that they can deliver whatever the citizens want, right? Thank you, Talisa. On to you, Terence. What do you think can one quality that can make a good leader. One of the qualities that can make a good leader is um, having responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you can expand on that responsibility. How do leaders need to be responsible? Um, or how can they be responsible? They just... Um, need to do what is right at all do time. what is right yes yes and that's uh, that brings us to um talisa's point they need to be honest so if they are honest they can do all things right according to what the citizens need thank you so much thank you so much i think um that will bring us to our second question which is how do you imagine a better kenya how do you imagine a better kenya Kenya that we want. How do you imagine it being? Myself, I imagine um, a better Kenya being like all communities coming together, no fighting, just peace, love, and harmony. Like all the communities coming in together, there's no fighting, it's just peace, love, and harmony. Maybe I can start with Nasambu. How do you imagine a better Kenya, that Kenya that we want? A Kenya which, which has no water and air pollution, deforestation has stopped, and there's no food shortage. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good point, and it takes me back to um, our school program that we just had, that we just finished. We do a 10 week program, and the theme was um, going green. So all experiments were under the theme going green, and we had all these experiments of recycling, reducing, and reusing. So there's some of the things that we 
she imagines a Kenya, better Kenya, with no pollution, any pollution, just going green and revolving around the three hours. Thank you, Nasambo. Maybe I can go to Terence, same question. How do you imagine a better Kenya? Um, I imagine a better Kenya with no discrimination. Mm -hmm. No discrimination. Wow, that's another good point. Maybe tell us we can respond on that. No discrimination. One example of a discrimination you've experienced, maybe in school, maybe in the, in the, in the market, maybe somewhere, yeah? Because it happens everywhere, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so um, maybe you can give, a, give us an example of one discrimination. Um, racism and tribalism. Yeah, Ooh, yes, those two points, racism and tribalism. And that tribalism brings, uh, brings me back to my, my, uh, the second question and my answer, just having a good community people coming together, there's no discrimination, there's no tribalism, yeah? And also racism is happening everywhere. So in this also we can talk about bullying schools. If you think, oh, if you see someone being bullied, please don't take that. Bullying is not something that should happen to you or anyone else, yeah? So if you see something like that happening, please report that. That's part of discrimination, yeah? Thank you, Terrence. Uh huh. On to you, Talisa. Same question. How do you imagine a better Kenya? How do you imagine one better Kenya? <clears throat> or maybe you can move to Ryan as we wait for Talisa. Ryan? Uh, I envision a Kenya with no human wildlife conflict. Sorry? Sorry, Ryan. Come again. Uh, I envision a Kenya with no human wildlife conflict. Hey, thank you. That's another point. Maybe you can give one example of something that has happened on that. Um... Uh, like uh, the communities, the Maasai that live around the Maasai Mara usually face encounters with the lions and they usually end up killing them. Yeah, true. There's also something we call, um, I'm trying to remember the name. I don't know how it escaped my mind. <laughs> Maybe you can help me. The elephants, um, there's something. So the trunks, the trunks, yeah? So I think Brian's trying to bring up that. Um, trunks being so maybe exported to other countries. That's wrong, yeah? So we want our what like, because they bring in money. So we don't want um, them to be killed. We want them to live so that they can... So that um, that's why tourists come into the country to see this um, wildlife. So if we kill them, what will happen? Yeah, we have to think about that. Yeah, thank you so much, Ryan. Alisa, we can come back to you. I see Kenya as a non-corrupt country, living in peace with each other and living in peace with its neighbors. Did you hear that? That's another perfect point, yeah? And I can see through all um, our points, we are bringing in the togetherness, yeah? The unity. If you have this unity, you'll have the best Kenya. No corruptions, no discrimination, all this. You know all that, we'll have a better Kenya. So thank you so much. I think we'll take a break here in between that so we can go... Uh, Take a break and have our sponsors for a little bit and come back for our third question. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts. In an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts. In an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. 
Okay, okay. Thank you. That was Peptidin, um, one of our sponsors this year. And um, through the questions we have, well, we've had question one and two. We've had good points from Ryan, Nasambu, and Talisa, also Terence. And we're going to move on to our last question for today. And um, this question, uh, maybe one advice, maybe one advice we would um, give to a leader in general. What's that, that one advice you give to a leader? in general yeah maybe i can start with the chalisa one advice you would give to a leader i i would advise a good leader a leader to be respectful and respect others and to think of others before himself okay yeah a leader to be respectful and to think about the other, uh, the others. The others might will be the citizens. Maybe, Talisa, you could give us an example. Um, if you've seen a leader being disrespectful. No, I have not. Yes, but they are there. Yeah. So, Talisa, thank you for the points. Leaders need to be respectful. That's one advice Talisa will give a leader in general yeah so terence on to you same question what's that that one advice you would give to a leader um i would tell them to be honest and understanding honest and understanding yeah thank you terence honest what brings you to the point of being honest do you think that leaders are not honest Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why do you think so, Terran? See, like, okay. Um, okay, maybe some are honest, but mm -hmm. others aren't. Yeah. yeah, some of them are not. And um, maybe to add on that, some leaders you've heard about, um, some leaders having uh, money laundering and all this, uh, those are leaders that are not honest, yeah? So thank you, Terence, for that point. Uh, Brian, what's that one advice you would give to a leader? Uh, I would advise them to be hardworking. Mm -hmm. Hardworking. Maybe you can expand on that, Ryan. And as Ryan is doing that, um, attendees can write their questions and we can get to answer. You can go in the Q&A section, just ask your question, any question. And as our theme, which is the Kenya we want, and we're hearing voices from our children. So you can go in the Q&A section and get to ask your questions. Thank you. On to you, Ryan. Uh, like doing their duties to the best of their ability, no matter what. Yeah, doing their duties, doing their duties. And they need to fulfill it for the citizens. We are here to choose leaders and we want better leaders, yeah? So if we get those leaders that are not fulfilling our duties, then our Kenya is no, is not, we won't get a Kenya that we want. We want a better Kenya. Thank you, Ryan. Nasambu. one advice you would give to a leader a leader is to be fair in my religion christian there's a story about a man called zacchaeus and he was a tax collector and he was very corrupt mm. And what happened to Zacchaeus? Yeah, we all had this story about Zacchaeus. So then, so then, so then he changed from his wrong ways after meeting Jesus. So, so I would advise our leaders to always be fair with the tax and fun for things like children's playground to be able to 
to build the Kenya we Oh yeah, that's another good point. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nasambu. On the um, tax collecting, the, the, the tax is um, Kenya, I will not be on the tax that we're releasing. <laughs> we need to ask ourselves that, yeah. That's another point that Nasambu has brought up, yeah having leaders who are not it's the same as having leaders who are not corrupt yeah just looking at the needs of the citizens yeah terence you had given us your answer i think we started with you yeah yeah so if you have any questions you can type them on the q and a section we can get to answer yeah Thank you so much. I can see one question, and maybe this can go to all of us, yeah? And maybe I can start with Talisa. Um, there's one question here, and we be asked. I would like to hear from the, uh, from, um, the panelists on one, on examples on how they can use STEAM to build the Kenya we want. Now, this brings us to the theme, the theme, this year's theme, which was STEAM Civics. We were looking at projects that can give us um a better a better nation yeah so from the question here i think it's taking us back to the theme and um pat is asking uh we'd like to hear from the panelists on examples on how they can use team to build the kenya we want you got the question maybe we can start to Give us one example on how you can use steel to build the Kenya we want. You can use STEM to become a successful country. successful country. Uh, we had different um, explorers coming up with projects and there was this one that um, kids uh, did about the county math game. So what they did, they created games. Uh, they, gave, they created a math game and they created equations. So they were answering the equations and then they learned about how many counties do you know? County, the Kenyan county. Maybe the one we live in, Nairobi County. We have Nairobi County. Is there any other county do you know? Terence, maybe give us one one answer. A county name? Machakos. Machakos, yeah, that's a county. Ryan. Uh Kiambu. Kiambu? Okay, thank you. Nasambu? Meru. Meru. Wow, Talisa? A county that you know? Naivasha. Yeah, so Nakuru, yeah. So through this game that the, key, the explorers came up with, it taught. Uh, as people, as, as, as um, citizens played that game, they learned from it. They were learning about the Kenyan counties because um, most of us don't know like all the 47 counties. Maybe we know the county that we live in, or maybe like to make um, citizens understand the 47 counties. Yeah. And Terence? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, do you have an example on how we can use Steam to build a better nation? Um, Maybe that's another question we can think through. <laughs> can we Steam to build educate, a better nation? To educate people and science and to inspire yes. people. To inspire people, just make citizens understand. Yeah how good it, it can be to, maybe we want a better Kenya. We want to use Steam to build a better The recycling, the reducing, the reusing, to just through Steam, yeah? Building a Kenya through Steam. Nasambu? Any idea on how we can use STEAM to build a better nation? And plant more trees. In China, they've been able to reduce the desert rate by using drones, dropping seeds covered with charcoal and on the desert. So when the rainy season came, the trees were able to grow. There are somewhere like that in Kenya, so some with uh, something like called seed bolts. Oh wow! Thank you, Nasambu. If you had Nasambu, she said that um, we can use the seed bolts. I think this happened somewhere in some country. They had like these seed bolts. Uh, once they were like um, they used like a plane to just um rotate the seed bolts around and then water them and then the wood grow up to be plants, yeah? That's a better way also, using STEAM to just come up with a better um, Sorry. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up. Can you all hear me? Thank you. Sorry for that hitch. Yeah. So Nasambu's um <clears throat> way can also be a better way to build a better nation. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for that hitch. Uh huh. Terence, have you thought of something? A way how we can make steam uh build um through steam. How we can use steam to build the Kenya we want? I will really give an answer. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, we can. We had uh, we had like twenty four projects that rotated around that, and in that we had um, <clears throat> like fourteen. We had fourteen projects that proceeded, and we'll be seeing these projects um, tomorrow at um, the physical science fair that will be happening at Lavington Montessori from nine to one. They had the innovators came up with really good projects that rotated around the. Steam civics, building a Kenya we want, a nation, a better nation. What is it that we can do? We had all these projects that give out um, ideas on how we can get and build a better nation. Do we have any other question? I can see Talisa's hand up. Talisa, you have a question? I would like to see another answer. Thank you. Yes, can we hear it? Yes, we can stem to innovate the change and way of life, like new technology to build roads, schools, and boreholes. Wow. wow, that's another one. That's another idea. Yeah, we've seen all these roads that have potholes. We don't like like going on those roads so hectic it's so it's not even like is it worth it so we can use steam to get better ways to do our roads and all that yeah talisa thank you so much i can see ryan's hand up ryan uh we can uh, use them to better our country by acquiring uh, the new skills we learn in stem and using them in our daily lives to improve the way we do things. The way we do things, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah. And I can see another hand. 
Do we have a question? Maybe you can just unmute and ask your question. Or maybe just type on the Q&A and we'll get to answer that. Yeah. You can try and answer that. Just type it on the Q&A and we'll get to answer that if you have any questions. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I'm trying to see if we have any other questions that we can answer. Okay, I, th I think that was it. Maybe we can do a party shot. Uh, just um, Ryan, we can do a party shot. Maybe you can tell something to the citizens we have attendees who are in. Maybe something for them. Maybe a quote. You can leave them with a quote. Like uh, this year. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Sorry for cutting you. Uh, I'd like to tell them to work hard, to love their country, and to always do what's right. Thank you so much, Ryan. We appreciate that. Terence? Mm. To be kind, patient, and respectful. Patient, kind, and respectful. Yeah, if we have, this goes to the leaders, yeah, <laughs> and also maybe citizens, yeah. They should always be kind, respectful, yeah. This applies to everyone, the leaders as well as the citizens. Thank you, Terence. Talisa. I'd like to tell them to be proud of their country and to be proud of who they are. To be proud of their country and to be proud of who they are. And I'm proud of them as well. I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> Just by that question I asked uh, about the Kenyan flag, we are proud of it. We know it doesn't have three colors, it has four, yeah? So thank you, Talisa. Nasambu. I will tell them to, to always support the country and, and while making decisions to choose them boldly. Yes, yeah, sorry, Nasambu, come again to be. I would advise the leaders to be sorry, Nathan, it's okay. They should always, I think I had something that should, they should always be proud of their country. Yeah. They should always be proud of their country. And also take responsibility as well, yeah. Take responsibility. Maybe I can leave them with a quote. That a quote we've been um, rotating around the Steam Civics. Um, it's a quote by JFK Kennedy. And uh, it goes like, ask not what your country can do, ask what you can do for your country. And I'll leave you with a question, a question you should ask yourself. What are you doing? What are you doing as a citizen to make a Kenya you want what are you doing as a citizen to make a kenya you want or a kenya you imagine envision what are you doing to make it that one kenya that you envision yeah that has been from us ryan nasambu talisa terence and i the simba is the moderator yeah so we'll have a video being played um on the background and maybe you can see just a few. Okay. Maybe if, before we end, uh, we're getting congratulations messages. Like people are so happy <laughs> from how we've answered the questions. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. So okay, 
was looking if we have any more questions from us. So we can't wait to see you tomorrow at the physical science fair. Yeah. So if you need to get there, you can Uber there. Uh, maybe um, just get a matatu from ABC. It can get you to um, Mzima Springs. We have a road called Mzima Springs. You can just maybe alight from there. Opposite Mzima Springs is a road called Apple Cross. So Lavington Montessori is in Apple Cross Road. I saw that question. That's why I was answering. Yeah. And we got a comment, good start at early age. So this goes to all of you, my innovators. Good start at an early age. Well done. Well, well done. Oop, maybe we can give ourselves a clap. Good job from all of us. Congratulations to our wonderful panelists. Yeah. People are so proud of you. Good job, good job, good job. I can see Fatma from Opchi School. Super proud, super proud. Super proud of all of us, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. So the science fair is from 9 to 12, 9 to 12 p.m. tomorrow, 9 to 1, sorry, 9 to 1. So that was it from us, our famous, the Kenya we won, and we've had voices from our kid. So from I, the Symbionis, and our panelists, all we need to say is thank you for attending this meeting. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. So from us, it's a bye-bye. Come on, somebody can give an idea. No, please. Like Mitko. Mitko, do you have any ideas of how we can clean the water? What we can use to clean it? Yes. From you the oil? Use a vacuum which doesn't allow water to come inside. Okay, so we use a vacuum. That's one way. What other ideas do you have? It also, but it fills oil inside its, okay. its tank. Good. Yeah, my, my son also. Your turn, Mafame. Go. Also, tell me, tell me, tell me, what is the, the, your the, idea? The water, the, 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 the truck, which sucks out, which has a vacuum cleaner, there's a tank, so mm -hmm. inside there, and then it pulls, it pulls the water inside, inside the tank, and then, and then they go back and put it somewhere, and then and then they come back with clean water and put it there okay okay thank you for that so i've written here that you need to have a tank in order to clean the oil spill and now tell me manzi something. what is your idea of how to clean it they they put it in a factory which mm -hmm. makes it clean and they put the water which belongs back nice imagine you have a bowl of water and you have oil on top of it what else can we use to pick the oil out beyond the brush and the sponge and like a bucket scooping the oil you can scoop it scoop it with a spoon let's get a spoon there you go all right what else can we use brushy the brush is there the spoon is there the sponge is there anything else Tell me, Manzi. Go. Not your turn. A scooper. We already have a, a spoon, yeah? So that's going to be our scooper. What else? And... Uh, my turn. Mitko's turn. My... A, a, a truck which has a, a tank which can fill up everything. But we don't have Okay, that. we need to put it somewhere. That's a good point. So we're going to have like a little place to put when we're done, okay? We need to put the oil. Manzi, your turn. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. I like to just can suck our fingers. Well, you can try. Let's suck your finger. You see? Let's do this one. I'm just going to be painful. To be not as painful. No, not like that. Try me. You see? So there's a vacuum. So that's the one we're using. Oh, for a vacuum. Next one. trash can and as little water okay so one minute ready one two three go remember you're going for the oil okay 